The major structures in DNA compaction, DNA, the nucleosome, the 10 nanometers beads on a string chromatin fiber and the metaphase chromosome. Chromatin is a complex of DNA and protein found in eukaryotic cells. The primary function is to package long DNA molecules into more compact, denser structures. This prevents the strands from becoming tangled and also plays important roles in reinforcing the DNA during cell division preventing DNA damage and regulating gene expression and DNA replication. During mitosis and meiosis, chromatin facilitates proper segregation of the chromosomes in anaphase. The characteristic shapes of chromosomes visible during this stage are the result of DNA being coiled into highly condensed chromatin. The primary protein components of chromatin are histones, which bind to DNA and function as anchors around which the strands are wound. In general, there are three levels of chromatin organization. DNA wraps around histone proteins, forming nucleosomes and the so-called beads on a string structure. Multiple histones wrap into a 30 nanometer fiber consisting of nucleosome arrays in their most compact form. Higher level DNA supercoiling of the 30 nanometer fiber produces the metaphase chromosome. Many organisms, however, do not follow this organization scheme. For example, spermatozoa and avian red blood cells have more tightly packed chromatin than most eukaryotic cells, and trypanosomatid protozoa do not condense their chromatin into visible chromosomes at all. Prokaryotic cells have entirely different structures for organizing their DNA. The overall structure of the chromatin network further depends on the stage of the cell cycle. During interface, the chromatin is structurally loose to allow access to RNA and DNA polymerases that transcribe and replicate the DNA. The local structure of chromatin during interface depends on the specific genes present in the DNA. Regions of DNA containing genes which are actively transcribed are less tightly compacted and closely associated with RNA polymerases in a structure known as euchromatin. While regions containing inactive genes are generally more condensed and associated with structural proteins in heterochromatin. Epigenetic modification of the structural proteins in chromatin via methylation and acetylation also alters local chromatin structure and therefore gene expression. The structure of chromatin networks is currently poorly understood and remains an active area of research in molecular biology. Basic units of chromatin structure Chromatin undergoes various structural changes during a cell cycle. Histone proteins are the basic packers and arrangers of chromatin and can be modified by various post-translational modifications to alter chromatin packing. Most modifications occur on histone tails. The consequences in terms of chromatin accessibility and compaction depend both on the modified amino acid and the type of modification. For example, histone acetylation results in loosening and increased accessibility of chromatin for replication and transcription. Lysine trimethylation can either lead to increased transcriptional activity or transcriptional repression and chromatin compaction. Several studies suggested that different modifications could occur simultaneously. For example, it was proposed that a bivalent structure is involved in early mammalian development. Polycomb group proteins play a role in regulating genes through modulation of chromatin structure. For additional information, see chromatin variant, histone modifications in chromatin regulation, and RNA polymerase control by chromatin structure. The structures of A, B, and Z DNA. In nature, DNA can form three structures, A, B, and Z DNA. A and B DNA are very similar, forming right-handed helices, whereas Z DNA is a left-handed helix with a zigzag phosphate backbone. Z DNA is thought to play a specific role in chromatin structure and transcription because of the properties of the junction between B and Z DNA. At the junction of B and Z DNA, one pair of bases is flipped out from normal bonding. These play a dual role of a site of recognition by many proteins and as a sink for torsional stress from RNA polymerase or nucleosome binding. A cartoon representation of the nucleosome structure. From PDB, 1KX5. The basic repeat element of chromatin is the nucleosome, interconnected by sections of linker DNA, a far shorter arrangement than pure DNA in solution. In addition to core histones, a linker histone H1 exists that contacts the exit slash entry of the DNA strand on the nucleosome. The nucleosome core particle, together with histone H1, is known as a chromatosome. Nucleosomes, with about 20 to 60 base pairs of linker DNA, can form, under non-physiological conditions, an approximately 10 nanometers beads on a string fiber. The nucleosomes bind DNA non-specifically, as required by their function in general DNA packaging. There are, however, large DNA sequence preferences that govern nucleosome positioning. 
This is due primarily to the varying physical properties of different DNA sequences, for instance, adenine, and thymine is more favorably compressed into the inner minor grooves. This means nucleosomes can bind preferentially at one position approximately every 10 base pairs, where the DNA is rotated to maximize the number of A and T bases that will lie in the inner minor groove. Two proposed structures of the 30 nanometers chromatin filament. Left, one star helix solenoid structure. Right, two star loose helix structure. Note, the histones are emitted in this diagram, only the DNA is shown. With addition of H1, the beads on a string structure in turn coils into a 30 nanometers diameter helical structure known as the 30 nanometers fiber or filament. The precise structure of the chromatin fiber in the cell is not known in detail. This level of chromatin structure is thought to be the form of heterochromatin, which contains mostly transcriptionally silent genes. Electron microscopy studies have demonstrated that the 30 nanometers fiber is highly dynamic such that it unfolds into a 10 nanometers fiber beads on a string structure when transversed by an RNA polymerase engaged in transcription. Four proposed structures of the 30 nanometers chromatin filament for DNA repeat length per nucleosomes ranging from 177 to 207 BP. Linker DNA in yellow and nucleosomal DNA in pink. The existing models commonly accept that the nucleosomes lie perpendicular to the axis of the fiber, with linker histones arranged internally. A stable 30 nanometers fiber relies on the regular positioning of nucleosomes along DNA. Linker DNA is relatively resistant to bending and rotation. This makes the length of linker DNA critical to the stability of the fiber, requiring nucleosomes to be separated by lengths that permit rotation and folding into the required orientation without excessive stress to the DNA. In this view, different lengths of the linker DNA should produce different folding topologies of the chromatin fiber. Recent theoretical work, based on electron microscopy images of reconstituted fiber supports this view. The spatial arrangement of the chromatin within the nucleus is not random, specific regions of the chromatin can be found in certain territories. Territories are, for example, the lamina-associated domains, and the topologically-associating domains, which are bound together by protein complexes. Currently, polymer models such as the strings and binder switch model and a dynamic loop model are used to describe the folding of chromatin within the nucleus. Carigram of human male using gene sustaining, showing the classic metaphase chromatin structure. Condensation and resolution of human sister chromatids in early mitosis interphase, the structure of chromatin during interphase of mitosis, is optimized to allow simple access of transcription and DNA repair factors to the DNA while compacting the DNA into the nucleus. The structure varies depending on the access required to the DNA. Genes that require regular access by RNA polymerase require the looser structure provided by euchromatin. Metaphase, the metaphase structure of chromatin differs vastly to that of interphase. It is optimized for physical strength and manageability, forming the classic chromosome structure seen in karyotypes. The structure of the condensed chromatin is thought to be loops of 30 nanometers fiber to a central scaffold of proteins. It is, however, not well characterized. Chromosome scaffolds play an important role to hold the chromatin into compact chromosomes. Loops of 30 nanometer structure further condense with scaffold, into higher order structures. Chromosome scaffolds are made of proteins including condensin, typea toposomerase and kinesin family member 4. The physical strength of chromatin is vital for this stage of division to prevent shear damage to the DNA as the daughter chromosomes are separated. To maximize strength the composition of the chromatin changes as it approaches the centromere, primarily through alternative histone H1 analogs. During mitosis, although most of the chromatin is tightly compacted, there are small regions that are not as tightly compacted. These regions often correspond to promoter regions of genes that were active in that cell type prior to chromatin formation. The lack of compaction of these regions is called bookmarking, which is an epigenetic mechanism believed to be important for transmitting to daughter cells the memory of which genes were active prior to entry into mitosis. This bookmarking mechanism is needed to help transmit this memory because transcription ceases during mitosis. Chromatin and its interaction with enzymes has been researched, and a conclusion being made is that it is relevant and an important factor in gene expression. Vincent G. Alfre, a professor at Rockefeller University, stated that RNA synthesis is related to histone acetylation. The lysine amino acid attached to the end of the histones is positively charged. The acetylation of these tails would make the chromatin ends neutral, allowing for DNA access. 
When the chromatin decondenses, the DNA is open to entry of molecular machinery. Fluctuations between open and closed chromatin may contribute to the discontinuity of transcription, or transcriptional bursting. Other factors are probably involved, such as the association and dissociation of transcription factor complexes with chromatin. The phenomenon, as opposed to simple probabilistic models of transcription, can account for the high variability in gene expression occurring between cells in isogenic populations. During metazoan spermiogenesis, the spermatid's chromatin is remodeled into a more spaced packaged, widened, almost crystal-like structure. This process is associated with the cessation of transcription and involves nuclear protein exchange. The histones are mostly displaced, and replaced by protamines. It is proposed that in yeast, regions devoid of histones become very fragile after transcription, HMO1, an HMG box protein, helps in stabilizing nucleosomes free chromatin. The packaging of eukaryotic DNA into chromatin presents a barrier to all DNA-based processes that require recruitment of enzymes to their sites of action. To allow the critical cellular process of DNA repair, the chromatin must be remodeled. In eukaryotes, ATP-dependent chromatin remodeling complexes and histone-modifying enzymes are two predominant factors employed to accomplish this remodeling process. Chromatin relaxation occurs rapidly at the site of a DNA damage. This process is initiated by PARP1 protein that starts to appear at DNA damage in less than a second, with half maximum accumulation within 1.6 seconds after the damage occurs. Next the chromatin remodeler ALK1 quickly attaches to the product of PARP1, and completes arrival at the DNA damage within 10 seconds of the damage. About half of the maximum chromatin relaxation, presumably due to action of ALK1, occurs by 10 seconds. This then allows recruitment of the DNA repair enzyme MRE11 to initiate DNA repair within 13 seconds. Gamma H2 ax, the phosphorylated form of H2 ax is also involved in the early steps leading to chromatin decondensation after DNA damage occurrence. The histone variant H2 ax constitutes about 10% of the H2A histones in human chromatin. Gamma H2 ax can be detected as soon as 20 seconds after irradiation of cells and half maximum accumulation of gamma H2 ax occurs in one minute. The extent of chromatin with phosphorylated gamma H2 ax is about 2 million base pairs at the site of a DNA double strand break. Gamma H2 ax does not, itself, cause chromatin decondensation, but within 30 seconds of irradiation, RNF8 protein can be detected in association with gamma H2 ax. RNF8 mediates extensive chromatin decondensation, through its subsequent interaction with CHD4. A component of the nucleosome remodeling and deacetylase complex new RD. After undergoing relaxation subsequent to DNA damage, followed by DNA repair, chromatin recovers to a compaction state close to its pre damage level after about 20 minutes. CHIP sec, aimed against different histone modifications, can be used to identify chromatin states throughout the genome. Different modifications have been linked to various states of chromatin. DNA-Sec uses the sensitivity of accessible regions in the genome to the dna -Sci enzyme to map open or accessible regions in the genome. FAIR-Sec uses the chemical properties of protein-bound DNA in a two-phase separation method to extract nucleosome-depleted regions from the genome. ADIC-Sec uses the TN5 transposes to integrate transposons into accessible regions of the genome consequentially highlighting the localization of nucleosomes and transcription factors across the genome. DNA footprinting is a method aimed at identifying protein-bound DNA. It uses labeling and fragmentation coupled to gel electrophoresis to identify areas of the genome that have been bound by proteins. MaySec uses the microcockle nuclease enzyme to identify nucleosome positioning throughout the genome. Chromosome conformation capture determines the spatial organization of chromatin in the nucleus by inferring genomic locations that physically interact. MAC profiling uses titration series of chromatin digests with microcockle nuclease to identify chromatin accessibility as well as to map nucleosomes and non-histone DNA binding proteins in both open and closed regions of the genome. It has been a puzzle how decondensed interface chromosomes remain essentially unknotted. The natural expectation is that in the presence of type 2 DNA toposomerases that permit passages of double-stranded DNA regions through each other, all chromosomes should reach the state of topological equilibrium. The topological equilibrium and highly crowded interphase chromosomes forming chromosome territories would result in formation of highly knotted chromatin fibers. 
However, chromosome confirmation capture methods revealed that the decay of contacts with the genomic distance in interface chromosomes is practically the same as in the crumpled globule state that is formed when long polymers condense without formation of any knots. To remove knots from highly crowded chromatin, one would need an active process that should not only provide the energy to move the system from the state of topological equilibrium but also guide toposomerase mediated passages in such a way that knots would be efficiently unknotted instead of making the knots even more complex. It has been shown that the process of chromatin loop extrusion is ideally suited to actively unknot chromatin fibers in interface chromosomes. The term, introduced by Walter Fleming, has multiple meanings, simple and concise definition, chromatin is a macromolecular complex of a DNA macromolecule and protein macromolecules. The proteins package and arrange the DNA and control its functions within the cell nucleus. A biochemist's operational definition, chromatin is the DNA-slash-protein-slash-RNA complex extracted from eukaryotic lysed interphase nuclei. Just which of the multitudinous substances present in a nucleus will constitute a part of the extracted material partly depends on the technique each researcher uses. Furthermore, the composition and properties of chromatin vary from one cell type to another, during the development of a specific cell type, and at different stages in the cell cycle. The DNA plus histone equals chromatin definition, the DNA double helix in the cell nucleus is packaged by special proteins termed histones. The formed protein slash DNA complex is called chromatin. The basic structural unit of chromatin is the nucleosome. The first definition allows for chromatins to be defined in other domains of life like bacteria and archaea, using any DNA binding proteins that condenses the molecule. These proteins are usually referred to nucleoid-associated proteins. Examples include ASN slash LRPC with who. In addition, some archaea do produce nucleosomes from proteins homologous to eukaryotic histones. The following scientists were recognized for their contributions to chromatin research with Nobel Prizes. Thanks for watching.